you've probably seen it, a layer hen, well-fed, clean, seemingly healthy, yet day after day she lays tiny, underdeveloped eggs. You break it open, and the shell is paper-thin, almost translucent, and just when you're expecting that glorious basket of eggs to boost your sales or feed your family, all you get is disappointment. If you've ever stood puzzled over this, wondering what went wrong despite feeding your birds regularly, you're not alone. At a farm in Kangundo, Mama Atieno lost nearly 30% of her expected weekly egg sales in one month. That's over 300 eggs gone just because her layers started laying smaller and weaker shelled eggs. That loss at 15 cents per egg amounted to $45. And this was during school fee season. Painful, isn't it? Here's the shocking part. The solution was sitting in her backyard. Two simple ingredients, oyster shell powder and moringa. One boosts calcium, the other turbocharges absorption and egg yolk quality. Together, they transformed her flock. If you care about healthier chickens and better profits, give this video a like, share it with another farmer, subscribe so you don't miss proven tips like this, and tell me where you're watching from around the world. Because in the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how one spoon of this mix per bird per week stopped small eggs in their tracks. Now, let me take you to the heart of this problem. When hens start laying small eggs, most farmers immediately blame the feed company. This new feed isn't working. It's fake layers mash. But before we point fingers, let's look at the full picture. Small eggs can be caused by several issues. Poor calcium levels, low protein, stress, early lay, or even age-related decline. But the most common and fixable culprit, calcium deficiency and poor calcium metabolism. Think of it this way. Your hen is a factory, and to make one egg, she needs to pull calcium from her blood, and if that's low, from her bones. Now imagine doing that six times a week. If she's not getting enough calcium or can't absorb what she's getting, egg size drops, shell quality drops, productivity crashes. I have visited farms in Kiambu, Muranga, and Kisi where hens were laying 35 to 40 grams eggs instead of the ideal 55 to 60 grams. At a supermarket or roadside kiosk, customers notice. They pay less or don't buy at all. One farmer, Mzi Otieno in Homabai, told me his buyers switched to a neighbor's eggs just because they were bigger and didn't break in the bucket. Now multiply that market rejection across a month. That's not just small eggs, that's big losses. And here's the twist. Most farmers already feed layers mesh with calcium. But it's not just about how much calcium is in the feed, it's about how bioavailable it is and whether your hen can absorb and use it effectively. Here's where poultry science meets everyday farming. A hen needs roughly 4 grams of calcium per day when laying, but she can't absorb all of it in one go. She needs a steady, slow-release source. That's why oyster shell powder, also called shell grit, is a game-changer. It releases calcium gradually as it dissolves, keeping blood levels stable even during the night, when eggshell formation peaks. A study published in the International Journal of Poultry Science in 2015 showed that hens supplemented with coarse calcium sources like oyster shell produce significantly better shell thickness and egg mass than those on fine limestone alone. But there's more. Calcium absorption depends on vitamin D3 and other cofactors. Enter Moringa, the miracle tree. Moringa oleifera leaves are not only rich in vitamins A, C, and E, but also contain natural compounds that improve mineral absorption. Studies by FAO and various African agricultural universities show Moringa boosts egg weight, yolk color, and hen immunity. In simple terms, oyster shell supplies the calcium. Moringa helps the hen use it. One's the food, the other's the digestion. Together, egg size magic. Before I show you the exact remedy to use, listen to this. Hi there, my name's Peter and I've been raising chickens for over 10 years now. Layers, broilers, even some indigenous birds. Let me be honest, before I found this book, I was struggling. Feed prices were going up, antibiotics were becoming less effective and my flock just wasn't performing like it used to. Then I came across The Organic Chicken Farmer's Guide by Dominic Ngafo and Mogweru Isaac. I decided to buy it, and I'll tell you something. It changed everything on my farm. This guide isn't theory, it's practical. It shows you how to use local, affordable things like garlic, neem, turmeric, aloe vera, even charcoal, to keep your birds healthy and productive. I started small. I tried the moringa and garlic in the water for a week. I noticed improved appetite, less coughing, and better energy. Now, I've built my own small black soldier fly setup for protein, and I'm using fermented feeds regularly. My birds are growing faster, my eggs are bigger. 
I'm saving money and I haven't used antibiotics in months. The best part? The book is easy to understand. It speaks our language, not complicated science. And it's available in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese and Indonesian, so anyone can use it. If you're serious about poultry farming and want to move forward the smart way, scan the QR code you see on your screen or click the link in the description and the pinned comment. This book worked for me. I believe it can work for you too. Let's get practical. Here's exactly how to use this remedy on your farm. Step 1. Source clean oyster shells. If you're near the coast, collect and wash them thoroughly to remove salt and organic residue. Sun dry them completely, then crush them into coarse particles, not powder. If you're inland, buy oyster shell powder or grit from agrovets or feed suppliers. It's cheap. 50 cents to $1 per kilo. Step 2. Get fresh moringa leaves. Dry them in shade to preserve nutrients, never under direct sun. Once crisp, crush into powder using a blender or mortar and pestle. Step 3. Mix 1 tablespoon of oyster shell powder and 1 teaspoon of moringa powder into the feed for every hen once or twice a week. That's it. For 100 birds, you'll need about 100 tablespoons of oyster shell, approximately 1.5 kilograms, and 100 teaspoons of moringa, approximately 200 grams, per week. Step 4. Observe. Within 2 to 3 weeks, egg size will improve, shell quality will harden, and yolks will get darker, thanks to the moringa. You may also notice livelier birds and fewer soft-shelled or broken eggs. Mama Atiano from earlier implemented this. She had 120 layers. After three weeks, her daily egg production jumped from 72 to 98. Her egg weight improved by an average of 8 grams, and she gained back her lost customers at the local shopping center. The cost of the oyster shell and moringa per week, less than $2.50. The income recovery, over $12 weekly. Now, before you rush to the feed store, let's clear up a few things. Some farmers say, but I already use Leia's mash, it should have calcium. Yes, it does, but the form matters. Most mash uses fine limestone, which passes quickly through the gut. Oyster shell stays longer in the gizzard, releasing calcium slowly, especially overnight. Others worry, won't too much calcium harm my birds? Good question. Yes, excess calcium, especially without enough phosphorus or D3, can harm kidneys. That's why we recommend just one tablespoon per hen per week, not daily. It complements the mash. It doesn't replace it. Then there's the skeptic who says, Moringa is just a hype, but FAO field trials in West Africa and peer-reviewed research show otherwise. Moringa improves egg production, yolk pigmentation, and immunity. It's not a miracle cure, but it's a powerful feed additive when used correctly. And finally, can I use eggshells instead of oyster shells? You can, but it's riskier. Eggshells carry salmonella if not properly sterilized, and they're finer, meaning faster digestion and less benefit overnight. If you do use them, bake at 150 degrees Celsius for 10 to 15 minutes and crush coarsely. So what should you take away from this? First, small eggs aren't always a feed company problem. Sometimes it's a calcium metabolism issue. Second, oyster shell powder is your secret weapon. It supports shell quality and egg size by releasing calcium slowly. Third, moringa doesn't just boost the bird's health. It helps the calcium get used efficiently, improves yolk quality, and supports overall productivity. Start today. Get oyster shell powder and moringa leaves. Dry them. Mix them. Give one spoon per bird each week. Track your egg sizes. Weigh a few weekly and see the difference. Don't just wait for miracles. Create them. Your birds are working hard. Give them the tools to do it better. If this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe for weekly poultry tips, and share this with a farmer who needs it. Let's build healthier flocks, one egg at a time.